Hey guys, it's me, Chrissy Lee. I'm back again today. I am about to head out. We're gonna stop by the woods, check some things out, probably get some more sphagnum moss for my plants. Who knows what else we're gonna do. Um, but I figured I'd bring you along with me, so let's go. So I'm out here today in an area near where I'm living now that I've wanted to explore for years and I've never gotten the chance to. I always get a little nervous when I'm in a new spot. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm afraid to get lost. Maybe I'm afraid that there are going to be animals or people in the woods. But I've got my backpack and some survival gear in case anything happens. Let's take a look around and see if we can find anything interesting today. This has got to be one of the biggest grubs. I think it's dead. Uh, or on its way out. Biggest grubs I've ever seen. <laughs> like, ew. Ew. Huh. Something squished it or it fell. It's, n <coughs> it's massive. The wind is blowing pretty hard today. The trees are making lots of creepy noises and I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't <laughs> freaked out right now. I, I really am. I'm, I don't know what it is. I never used to be afraid of going in the woods, but I feel like the older I get, the more I realize all the terrible things that could happen out here. And it's getting harder and harder for me to be in the woods by myself, which is, it's not okay. I'm not okay with that. I was checking out these, what I think to be some wild blueberry, and I spotted this. Bonus points for anyone who can tell me what this is. Otherwise, I'll tell you in the description. We've got lots of usnea, usnea, however you say it. I'm not sure that I've ever encountered this specific type of moss before. That's very pretty. Seems to grow very similar to sphagnum moss, but it looks quite different. We do have bear, bobcat, and panther, at least, that I know of here. I never worried about before, never thought about it. Now, it's kind of all I can think about. That and widow makers, branches that fall from trees, stab into the ground, could easily kill you. This is all making for a very unrelaxed trip to the woods today, which is the opposite of what I was going for. So there's not a whole lot of mushrooms out this time of year, but there are a few, and here's one of them. It looks like it's gonna be, oh, I thought it was gonna be a quart. It's actually a rustla, a purple rustla, which I believe is edible. I'm not lost. But I feel lost and I also feel like I'm being watched that's uh, probably just paranoia from being out in the woods by myself I, I can still hear the traffic passing over the wooden bridges that I parked next to so I know where the road is from here but I just can't shake this feeling it's so weird and it's, it's not I'm not used to it. I want to be out here relaxing, enjoying myself, not constantly looking over my shoulder, freaking out every time I hear a noise. So I'm going to head back a little closer to the road and I might try the opposite side. Sorry, I'm not even looking at the camera. Um, but if I can't relax, I'm probably just going to go back to the house. Check this out. It's grown at the base of a lot of these trees in this boggy area. It just got stuck in the mud pretty good. And I thought it was soggy, but it's not. Um, I don't know if it's some kind of fern or moss. I've never seen it before. Look here. Not something I really expected to see especially this time of year. But we've got like running water. Clean, non-stagnant. Well, it, it is clean, it's clean, right? It's clean. I mean, it's t 
tinted brown because of the tannins and all that. But it's running, it's not stagnant. Very pretty. Cypress knees, I learned about these in grade school. I was told to be careful with these because if you trip and fall on them, they're going right through your body. I just got jabbed by this ginormous thorn on this tree. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but it's got thorns poking out everywhere. What a mean, mean tree. There's my little hoopty, guys. She might look a little rough, but she's been good to me so far. <laughs> I used to drive my truck down these trails, but I found out taking this car is not the same. Um, I got myself pretty well stuck the last time I was out here, and I was terrified because I don't have any cell service. I managed to get myself out, but from now on, I'm just going to park at the end of these trails and walk down. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this or not. Probably not. If I zoom in, it's going to get real fuzzy, but I'll give it a try anyway. But right here in the center of my screen, where it looks like these two trees connect in the middle. If you'll keep your eyes there, and maybe you can see it as I zoom in. There is a white ball. Uh, try to keep the camera... That's Lion's Mane. And after looking for two years, I can't believe I just found some more. If I hadn't just found some, found and ate some, I would be coming back out here to get that. I was able to get us a little closer. Okay. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. That is an immature or baby Lion's Mane mushroom right there. And here is one of the widow makers I was telling you guys about. They fall out of the tree with such force that they just jab into the ground. And it's definitely enough to kill you. It's been my experience so far that for the uncommon mushrooms like the lion's mane and the chicken in the woods, things like that you don't find them they find you or at least that's how it's worked for me anytime I've been actively looking for them I haven't been able to find them anytime I'm just looking around enjoying the scenery they just pop up keep that in mind if you're going out looking for these types of mushrooms maybe try not looking for those of you who may not know where sphagnum moss comes from you're looking at it it's a moss that grows in the bogs and when you buy it, it's been pulled up and dried. But this is what it looks like out in the wild. So like I said in my last video, the one I just uploaded, it's been an uh, uncommonly cold winter here in Florida, which is probably, I think, why I'm not seeing very many mushrooms out right now. I was hoping to find some winter chanterelle. I found them, I believe, starting in November ish out here in these woods in a different area and I was too afraid to try them several times but I was hoping if I found some today I could uh, saute them up with some onions and garlic and peppers and stuff and maybe give them a try before they're gone for the season. Here is one of several carnivorous species of plant that we have out in my area. These are called sundew, several of them here. All the ones I find out in the wild are red like this. And I see them in the shop sometimes also in green. So they have like this really sticky substance on their leaves that they use to trap insects. Here's some really tiny ones, about as big as my fingernail, just starting out. Got a couple mushrooms down here hiding from us. 
Mm, I'm thinking milk caps. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you see those little white droplets? I'm not sure exactly what kind. You guys have seen me find these over and over and over again. And I have not been certain enough of the type to try eating them yet. Alright, we're going to go try one more spot. The spot where I was just telling you guys that I was able to find the winter chanterelles a couple of months ago. There's no guarantee that there's going to be any there. But I'm going to go check and then I'm going to head back to the house. I wasn't expecting to face a challenge walking back here. I know it's always a little wet, but this is very wet. Mm, I need to get over there. I do have waterproof boots on, but they're not that tall. So maybe I can find a way around. This is what I meant by the water around here is usually stagnant and still. It was nice to see a running stream of water. I'm thinking it's probably going to be too wet and probably too past season for me to find any of these chanterelles, but just in case. I'm going to look around for a little bit and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find something. I'm not seeing anything. If I still have a clip from the last time we came out here and was looking for them, I'll insert them here. So these are known as Littlefoot, Yellowfoot, Winter Chanterelles. They don't smell as sweet. They are edible and they are everywhere out here you can't see them through the camera obviously so that at least you know what I'm talking about if you don't see a clip you know that I couldn't find it and I hope you guys aren't too disappointed there wasn't a whole lot to show you um, on this trip unfortunately I think it's just I keep wanting to say too late in the year but I think it's just too early in the year being that it's January for a whole lot of activity to be going on but you can almost guarantee not almost. You can definitely guarantee that I'll be out here more and more as things start to warm up and bloom and all that. So there'll be plenty of time for adventure. Here is the other kind of carnivorous plant that we have in the area. I love these. I think they're so pretty. I apologize for my loud car in the background. These are some of my favorites. All right guys, so I am back at home and I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat. Like I said, I'm sorry that there wasn't a whole lot to show you guys on this trip, um, but as the weather starts to warm back up, there's gonna be lots to look at, I promise. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.